Hey, it's been a while. It's been almost three weeks since I did my last review. You know what? It's time to get back into it. Things have been busy around here. It's hot today, even though it's cloudy. But you know what? We're going to get back into it with a Costco wine. This is a 2018 Kirkland Signature Series Red Blend Wine from the Columbia Valley. Let's see if it's worth the bucks. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Scott. You've tuned into the Rookie Wine and Whiskey Enthusiast channel, YouTube's primary channel for discussing primarily Washington State wines and whiskeys, but we've expanded to the Pacific Northwest, but not exclusively. So anyways, if you like this content, please go ahead and hit the like button. And when you do hit the like button, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. When you do hit the subscribe button, a little bell icon is going to go ahead and pop up. When you do hit the bell icon, my neighbors are spinning tires. When you do hit the bell icon, make sure you hit the all selection. That way when I do upload videos like this, if you do like them, you're one of the first to be notified. So anyways, let's jump right into this. Now, like I said, for the last three weeks, I've been busy. My wife and I have a refinance going on with the house. We've got a whole bunch of house projects. So I am sorry for those of you that do like my and love my content. I've just been so busy the last three weeks. I haven't been able to focus in on this. But I was at Costco last week and I saw this wine and I'm like, okay, I have to review this. Costco wines are really have been hit and miss to a point where you almost regret or you really not, I don't think regrets the term, but you uh, really hesitate to review them. Um, sometimes Costco can be, the, the wines can be spectacular. Other times they are complete duds. Now, this is their signature series. Now, what I mean by Kirkland Signature Signature Series is they claim that the Signature Series is one of their best Kirkland Signature wines. So this particular wine is a red blend from the Columbia Valley. It has been produced for Costco by Dolan and Weiss Cellars out of Walla Walla, Washington. This is a blend of primarily Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Syrah. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First of all, the color on this is a beautiful medium to deep purple. Now the nose on this, it's fairly intense on the nose. I don't have to stick my nose right in that wine glass at all to, to, to get the flavors. Now I'm getting a very dark fruit note on this. I'm talking plum, blackberry, black currant. I'm getting some licorice and some other spice. Almost like a pepper note on the nose. But underlying everything is a slightly smoky note to this. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, this is a medium plus to bold wine. This thing encompasses and attacks your palate. The fruits are intense. The plum and the blackberry come out. The black currant that I smelled is there as well, but it's more of an underlying. Now the smoky note, I don't get on the palate. But that spice, it's a licorice star anise note with almost, I don't want to say black pepper, but it's a, pe it's a slightly ground pepper note, um, almost like a lightly peppered piece of meat, okay? Let's go ahead and dive, let's go ahead and take another sip here. You know... The tannins on this, on the first sip, come across as medium. But on the second sip, 
there are much more medium plus or almost a a high tannic Cabernet blend. Um, the acidity on this though is medium. The alcohol content, now this is a relatively high alcohol content, but you don't even taste it. It's at 14.9%. Um, and we're talking, this is a dry to almost bone dry red wine. So I can imagine that the sugar content is extremely low in this. Um, wow. I've got to say, this is for, and I think I paid, I know, in fact, I know I paid $16.99 or $17 for this at Costco. Um, with the high tannins and the medium acidity, I think this would last a couple years, but you know what? For $17, this wine right off the bat is probably the best Costco Kirkland Signature Series wine I've tasted in the last two or three years, to be honest with you. Um, I'm glad I picked it up. I'm gonna go back to my Bonnie Lake Costco, probably pick up two or three more bottles of this. Um, I would not hesitate to decant this. I think if I were to decant this, that this wine could possibly even open up a little bit more and maybe mellow out. The finish on this, by the way, I'm still almost a minute after my last sip. I'm getting that black currant star anise note, which is lingering on the palate. This is a very long finishing wine. Um, if you go to Costco, if you are a regular Costco customer, if you go through their wine section, if you see this 2018 Signature Series Columbia Valley Red Blend Wine and you like red wines, buy it buy as many bottles as you can afford. Like I said, I think this is a great example. What am I gonna give this? I'm gonna give this, oh, I hate to give a, 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 a non-producing producer wine such a high score because it's, it's I don't know, it, it's one of those things. I'm gonna give this a 92. That's a, this is, I would put this up at the under the under $20 a bottle category as one of the best wines I've had so far this year. Um, anyways, listen, if you like this content, like I said, please hit like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Have you had Kirkland Signature Signature Series 2018 Columbia Valley Red Blend, uh, Red Blend, Columbia Valley Red Blend wine? Please let me know in the comments down below. Also, I will say this, Kirkland Signature Signature Series also has a California red blend or red wine out there as well, called this from the Stags Leaps District. And anybody that knows wine, there's a there's a wine out there called Stags Leap, and I'm almost tempted to buy it, but I think that particular bottle was at twenty four dollars, twenty four or twenty five dollars a bottle. Let me comment down below. Let, let me know if you'd like me to purchase a bottle of that wine and also review it. But anyways, if you are in Costco, go to their wine section, pick up a bottle of this. I think if you like red wine, you will not be disappointed. I've got some salmon on the grill tonight. I'm gonna have this with salmon. I'm thinking this might even overpower the salmon, but you know what? That's okay with me because I like this wine. Anyways, again, thank you very much for tuning in. Comment down below, like, subscribe, the whole nine yards. I'm back. I'm going to try again to make sure that I put out a, a content at least once a week. As always, folks, life is too short for either bad wine or bad whiskey. Please, please, please drink responsibly in the summertime and in the wintertime and all times. Cheers. Yeah, this is definitely going to overpower that sand.